Hi, it's Philip from Credence Research and the Campaign for Truth in Medicine. Looking through the newspapers again induces a type of double mind insanity. Uh, people often write to me and say, well, shall we be drinking water or shan't we drink water? And you get statements, of course, cropping up in the newspapers. I've uh, got a crop here for you to look at. Here's the first one. Not a drop of evidence. Eight glasses of water is good for you, say experts. For the benefit of the uninitiated, X is the unknown factor and a spurt is a drip under pressure. Uh, we also now have new rulings out of the European Union. Here's this clip here. The EU has actually banned the claim. You cannot now claim that water cures dehydration. Uh, you can't turn around to your uh, wife and say, honey, you're looking a little parched, because if you do, the penalty can be three years in the slammer. Now, of course, to the average citizen, this is just simply bonkers. But it has permeated into modern culture that, well, it's just fluids you need, not necessarily two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen. You can drink anything you want so long as it's wet. Um, this is actually not the case at all. Uh, they've been putting out for a while, I'm talking the media, and there seems to be a fair amount of uh, congruence on these reports coming out. They've been putting out that um, people who suggest that you should be drinking eight glasses of water a day are just simply nuts and there's no scientific evidence to back it up. In fact, there's no benefit to drinking water Water at all. That's the message being put across. Tragically, as this clip shows, from the very same newspaper that advertised uh, the previous idea that water is no good for you, we have 42,000 deaths a year being attributed to a lack of fluids going into patients in hospital, uh, resulting in kidney failure. Uh, the simple fact is, for those who, who want to get to the science of it, you need water. And actually, probably a good guideline for people living in Britain would be, with the type of weather we have, in other words, you're not in the hot weather, would be about a litre and a half a day. If you are watching this from a hot country, number one, please send us your weather. And number two, you're going to need at least two litres of water a day because of the evaporation and, and, and of course, you're going to be sweating it out as well. So one of the great... Um, uh, watchwords here is going to be make sure that the fluid intake goes in. One of the best times to actually drink water would be first thing in the morning when you wake up, when the body is in its glorious elimination cycle where everything is trying to get out of you and that's an ideal way uh, to start the morning off, just drinking about half a pint of water or even a litre of water if you wish, um, just to get everything moving.